Welcome, Welcome back, back dragons. dragons. I'm Anna. And I'm Ben. In case you didn't notice, we're, we're the twins. And this is Dragon News. Get ready for some exciting stuff, starting with Voices Voice. Hey dragons, this is Miss Boyce. I'm super excited to do another episode of Boyce's Voice with you. I just have a few things I wanna to talk to you about today. So first, uh, I wanna talk about our theme, Grow Through Gratitude, and I wanna talk about it because I just have a lot to be grateful for. Uh, we are almost done with the quarter and it's been such a successful quarter. I have been so impressed with all of you. You are working so hard. You are giving back to your community. You just make this place so amazing. So it's really easy for me to, when I think about our theme, to think about our students and how grateful I am and our staff. Uh, I think that we're a really amazing community and I just wanna celebrate that we have almost finished a quarter together. For me as principal, I've, I've really enjoyed it so far. So thank you to all of you. The other thing that I wanna talk about is lunch focus groups. So we were able to have food services come and meet with some of our students. And this came out of me getting a lot of feedback about school lunches. So I had lots of students come and talk to me about the menu and the offerings and things that they would like to see or things that they're not seeing enough. And I hear a lot of things about the orange chicken that's really popular. So I reached out to our food services at district and asked if they could come and do a focus group with students so that you get to talk directly to the source about your ideas and how to improve our school lunches. I really appreciate the students that were willing to engage in that focus group and I hope that we see some really positive things come out of that. So thank you for participating. By the way, quick note about school lunches. Um, I've been making a point to try some of the different things in the cafeteria and so far, interestingly enough, my favorite item has been the meatloaf and mac and cheese. So. Didn't know that that would be my favorite so far, but I've been pleasantly surprised. Buffalo chicken pizza is a runner up. Also coming up and really excited for is our quarter awards. I am excited for us to all to come together in one space. It's gonna be my first quarter awards with the bioscience community. I know many of you have experienced it before, but for our freshmen, this will be something new for you. This will be, I guess our first or second time coming together since um, being together in town hall at the beginning of school. So I'm really looking forward to that day and it does happen to be the last day of the quarter. I know we're all gonna feel very celebratory then. One more thing I wanna talk about is, you know, I know we've had a lot of construction around the school and I know that that's impacting all of you as you're coming to school, whether you're being dropped off or walking and I appreciate all of your patience. It's gonna be a little bit with this construction. They're improving the energy grid for downtown Phoenix. So downtown Phoenix is expanding and as a result, they have to, to be expanded. That's why there's some intense construction happening around, in addition to the construction of the new buildings and things like that. I appreciate your patience with that from you and your parents. That's all I have for you for today. Thanks for watching this segment, and I wish you all a great week, and go Dragons! Thank you, Miss Voice. Remember to stay tuned this Music Monday, which is next week, and will be centered around Hispanic Heritage Month. Thank you to Spanish Honor Society and Stugo for hosting yesterday's Loteria. It looks like a lot of fun. Maybe next year I'll win something. If you're in need of some tutoring, there will be extended tutoring for humanities every Thursday in the two East classroom, as well as physics and biochem tutoring on select certain dates. As well as that, fall break slash the end of the first quarter is fast approaching. The end of the first quarter is October 7th. We'll have fall break from the 10th to the 14th and then come back to school on October 17th. And now for a very special announcement, Spear Week. Minion Monday. Barbecue Dad vs. Soccer Mom Finance Bro vs. Gym Bro Dress like a Kindergartner Bald Cap vs. Wig Come over to Tabletop Club on Wednesday after school from 2.45 to 4.45. Come whenever you want and leave whenever you want. They have D&D, Warhammer, Magic the Gathering, and so much more. Congrats to the juniors for passing their civics exam. And speaking of civics... Here in Arizona, this Sunday, September 25th, is the day we celebrate the legendary Arizonan Sandra Day O'Connor for being the first woman to advance to the Supreme Court. She was nominated in 1981 by President Ronald Reagan after a legal career made difficult by being a woman in what was considered to be a man's world. Justice O'Connor retired in 2006 and now focuses on energy, promoting civics education. 
That's it for this week's Dragon News. Until, Until next, next time. time, dragons. Oh. Okay. What was your question? Am I sitting? Four. Welcome back. Welcome back, guys. <laughs> Congrats to the juniors for passing their civics exams. And speaking of civics, until next time, dragons. I'm gonna point to you. Okay. <laughs> Until next time, dragon. And then you're gonna say it too. That's it all. <laughs> That's it for this week's dragon news. Until next time. Oh. See ya. And until, until next, next time, time dragons. dragons.